guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale with your favorite series. It is Pro v Pro. That's right, we are back. This time we have Pompeo on his third match in this cycle of King of the Hill format. You guys know the winner stays on and you guys get to help the winner choose what pro is going to be next. Well, one Hive Hunter has been waiting for his shot for quite a long time to face one of these pros and Pompeo let him step up to the plate. One Hive Hunter has been on the channel a few times before. He's a three musketeer player he's also a hog player we'll see what he comes out with today pompeo known as being one of the most well-versed pros in a variety of different decks inside the meta and joe just like that we see one hive hunter on the bottom starting out with that hog rider but a very nice tombstone just placed in the nick of time by pompeo on the top so guys this is where you tell me who you want to win who you expect to win might be two different answers in the comments below and then i'll read through them and see how many of you were right and how many of you were wrong so let's see Pompeo looks to be playing I don't know what he's playing it may be a graveyard deck because we do see that ice golem this one is actually being recorded live guys usually I actually pre-record these and then give a uh, better commentary over it but I'm sure on time a tornado kind of a, a little bit of a panic tornado probably didn't have another good play by one hive hunter there but he does really mitigate any damage being done to that left tower so i guess in retrospect it was all good and we were right pompeo is indeed playing graveyard here we'll have to see what his last two cards are they're definitely going to be spells now that we see the log there and one hive hunter switching lanes can't even get to that right tower either but he does have the tombstone out of rotation so this is interesting a very cheap almost well it is a graveyard cycle using the ice golem instead of the ice spirit which obviously synergizes so much better uh, than just the ice spirit in this deck you can use the ice golem as a glass tank to get you know chip away at your opponent's tower and that's exactly what happened there well played says one hive hunter thanks says uh says pompeo and it looks like out the gate here one hive hunter is gonna need to get something going because look at this the last spell is poison the last card excuse me out of pompeo so now oh it's now or never and the thing about hog cycle you guys are all aware but it doesn't do as well going into double elixir time the opponent can cycle just as fast as you can especially playing graveyard cycle and have that tombstone ready for him now Pompeo is going to get a bit more aggressive dropping that graveyard and poison together on that cycle uh every single time they use he uses excuse me the graveyard against uh one hive hunter so here comes the predictive fireball trying to get rid of that night witch of course only not even one hit I stand corrected on that tower just really good defense here by Pompeo and it looks like Pompeo might have this one wrapped up. Hunter's gonna need to do something miraculous and it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do it in this match. So 1-0 Pompeo coming out strong out the gate. Now a few of you guys may remember that there was a little bit of controversy in our last Pro v Pro. It's been, geez, like th over three weeks ago. I'll link, by the way, the Pro v Pro playlist for you guys if you want to catch up and see how we got to where we are today. But there was controversy. I wanted to address that in between matches here between Pompeo and Mini Minter. So it was really, really uh, ooh, a tough situation, right? What happened was Mini Minter had a, a notification on his phone pop up at the very end of, I think, the second or third match. It caused him to lose the match. All he needed was a lightning. He had lightning in hand. He just couldn't use it because his friend texted him or whatever, and it came up on the screen. It knocked him out of the app, and he lost the match. And otherwise, if he had won that match, he probably would have won the Pro v Pro because it was it went all the way to the end to five matches. It's best of three, of course. So a lot of you guys were disappointed that I didn't give that match to One Hive Hunter. Uh, <clears throat> I really took it pretty hard in the comments for not being a better uh, commish, I guess, of the Pro v Pro series. A steward, if you will, of the Pro v Pro series. But I do stand by my decision, guys. I'm sorry if you don't agree with me, but basically, you know, it, it is up to the pros to make sure their notifications are turned off before these matches. And, I mean, if I did give One Hive Hunter the win there, we will get into this match in just a second. If I gave One Hive, or excuse me, if I gave Mini Minter the win, 
against Pompeo, uh, then every pro from there on out could have just said they got a notification and that's why they lost. So I didn't want to set a bad precedent and uh, I didn't want to make them redo the match based on the same reasoning. Someone could just in the future say, oh, I got a notification, uh, can we redo the match? So unfortunately, the onus is going to be and remain on the pros to make sure they turn the notifications off. It's an unfortunate situation uh, for sure, though. Mini Minter, definitely one of the best players in the world. Uh, but anyway, Pompeo, now he does move on. You can see him. He's still here. Pompeo, definitely one of the world's best players, let alone Mexico's best players. Probably just top, I don't know. He's, he's one of the only five players who have won number one in the season more than one time at the end of the season uh both times i believe with expo i don't think he's going to be using expo in these matches but we'll have to wait and see so game two we're like halfway through i've been blabbing the whole time but i did want to address that little bit of controversy from the previous pro v pro v pro pompeo was playing the giant minor deck that was really popularized in ccgs a lot of pros clinching their final matches using this version it looks like of the Pompeo giant minor combination with Night Witch and Ewiz. It's very strong defensively with those two legendary cards. Two definitely top three, in my opinion, legendary cards in the game right now. It's just, you can stop basically anything with this deck, and you do have that one-two punch of the giant and the minor that you're going to want to use, especially more frequently in double elixir time. So here we go. Here comes the Lava Loon push, maybe, for Hunter here. He's going to send, Pompeo's going to send in the minor Minor onto that Night Witch. Great value fireball taking out the minions, the Night Witch, and hitting that left tower. However, there's a lot coming in on Pompeo in that left lane. He's going to use a Zap and an E-Wiz. I don't think he's going to stop that tower from going down, though. Here comes Miner to get some chip damage on that left tower. Only 15 seconds left, guys. And here comes the Lava Loon. This one might be Hunter's if he can execute here. Unfortunately for Hunter, that Balloon dies and doesn't get any damage on that King Tower. Good defense here by Pompeo needs to take out that Mega Minion though really badly at this point. He waits, he's patient on that E-Wiz, and he's going to use a Fireball against a Balloon and just barely stops it from connecting with that right tower. But Pompeo has an uphill battle from here on out, guys. One Hive Hunter is going to reload with the Lava Hound in the back. Here comes some Bridge Spam from Pompeo. It's the Giant followed by the Night Witch. E-Wiz right in the center. E-Wiz in that perfect little safe location. Uh, well, I say that as the Fireball rain down on him but it looks like this push is probably going to be oh Oh, wow. A lot of damage there by Pompeo, and he stays on the offensive, dropping the Giant in the pocket there, knowing he can't stop that Lava Loon combo, and this is going to come down to it, guys. It's the Giant. One more hit with the Giant. Two more hits, excuse me, with the Giant, and it's... Oh, my God. Wow. That was an intense match. Good job by Pompeo having the wherewithal to drop that giant and go all out on offense there. One Hive Hunter just drops that tombstone a little bit late. Had he used that tombstone a little bit earlier against that giant, he definitely would have had that match. So 2-0 Pompeo with the early lead here on this Pro V Pro. And you know what that means, guys. If Pomp picks up this next match, he is the winner and remains king of the hill on Pro V Pro. This would be going into his fourth Pro V Pro match if he wins this one. So here we go. One Hive Hunter. He's starting out with a giant of his own in the back going up against a Night Witch mirrored on the same side by Pompeo. This time Pompeo on the top of the screen, guys. So a Night Witch and a, a versus a, a giant here. And the P.E.K.K.A. comes down. This is going to be big trouble for One Hive Hunter. The P.E.K.K.A., a hard counter if there ever was one for that giant. And the, uh, the look at, oh, there's the Expo. Wow, we said he wasn't going to use it, but he indeed he is, guys. So here One Hive Hunter is a essentially playing a, a different variation of the deck that we just saw Pompeo use, I think. We'll have to see if the Miner is played. Pompeo does get that Expo to connect for some damage on that left tower. So Pompeo is playing the P.E.K.K.A. Expo Night Witch deck. I can't say that I've ever seen, in a cycle at that, I can't see that I've ever seen this version of an Expo deck, guys, before. And here it comes. We called it. It's the Miner coming in from One Hive Hunter. So it is the same deck that we just saw Pompeo use. Interesting strategy here by Hunter using essentially the mirror deck that his opponent used in the previous match. So here it comes. Pompeo's going to uh, reload here with an Executioner in the back, knowing that Hunter just used his only direct damage or only heavy direct damage spell. He's going to attack in the right lane, but check that out, guys. Hunter 
Hunter attacks into the P.E.K.K.A. when he knew that Pompeo had the P.E.K.K.A. in hand. That's going to be a big mistake, unfortunately, and that actually might cost one Hive Hunter the match. We're going into double elixir time in about 10-15 seconds here. One Hive Hunter is going to have to get something going. He actually has a decent counter deck to the Expo deck, but it's it's really a hybrid that Pompeo's playing. It's hard to even call it a Siege Expo deck. Of course, it does have the card, but it's also a cycle deck. It has the Executioner. It's very interesting. The P.E.K.K.A. is going to be the tank stopper. There's not going to be much that one Hive Hunter is going to be able to do against this really interesting hybrid control siege deck being played by Pompeo here. So Pompeo's gonna reload. He's gonna mirror that giant with a P.E.K.K.A. of his own in the right lane. That's gonna hard counter that push again. Meanwhile, one Hive Hunter scrambling to stop this Expo again, having to send in the Miner on top of the Expo. The Miner's gonna go down really quickly here. The Expo's also going to go down, but check this out. Again, guys, that P.E.K.K.A. doing work against that giant Night Witch combination, and that P.E.K.K.A. is going to provide a positive elixir trade for Pompeo. So here comes another executioner in the back by Pompeo, probably setting up for another expo push here. We still don't know what the last two cards being played by Pompeo are here. It's the Pekka executioner push. Here comes expo. Expo Pekka. This is going to be a lot of trouble for one hive hunter to counter. We can only imagine that Pompeo must have a heavy spell there along with that log as his last card. It's gonna be either a rocket or a lightning and here it comes. Pekka does connect with the tower, guys. That is going to be it. I can't believe it. Does he have a direct damage spell to finish this off, Pompeo? He has it in hand. If he does, he's not using it, so he's just going to look for another lock-on with this expo. He's not going to get it. A good giant placement. Uh, one Hive Hunter should have been saving that giant to counter the expo, but instead he was using the giant kind of as a bridge spam type card earlier in this match. A good log there is going to prevent the expo from getting too much damage, but the log on the other side is going to end it for Pompeo. Three zip, guys. Pompeo, what a beast, what a stud, what a clash god. He is going to remain king of the hill for the pros. GG Pompeo. Guys, were you right? And all Hunter can say is, wow. It's been a while since we've gotten a 3-0, guys. GG to both these players. Make sure you give them some love. It's hard to come up on the big stage and face another good pro like this. So hats off to both of these players. Both fantastic guys. And uh, guys, wow. Let's go ahead and copy those decks because that was a really interesting deck. So guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Were you right? Were you wrong? Did you pick Pompeo? I think he was probably the heavy favorite. So I'm guessing a lot of you guys did. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think and who do you think should be the next opponent? Shout out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Make sure you give him some love in the description below. You can find all his social media information. Guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching and as always, take care guys.